What do you got here? I got a Mickey Mantle rookie card from 1951, signed by the man himself. That's pretty cool. So where'd you get it? Actually, I bought it off a friend. He had it with a bunch of other cards in his garage, and I went through the cards, and I picked this one along with about five others. OK, I mean, you, you picked a really good one. <laughs> yeah. I have a signed Mickey Mantle rookie card from 1951. Some auctions have sold this card for 45000 I'm looking to get about $20,000 for the rookie card because I have three kids in college. If I'm able to sell the card, I'll uh, use the money for those college costs. Mickey Mantle, he's in the top 10 best baseball players of all time. Well, I mean, it was a 20-time All-Star. That's, you know, it's insane. Yeah, I would say so. When it comes to Mickey Mantle, you know, he started his career off as a Yankee, and he left his career as a Yankee. You know, funny little fact about him, his rookie year, and they brought him up to replace Joe DiMaggio, mm -hmm. and the crowd booed him for three years. Right, yeah. And in his rookie year, he's chasing down a fly ball and trips over a sprinkler head, messed up his knee so bad it followed him his entire career. But 536 home runs, three triple crowns, seven World Series. I mean, you, you don't get a better baseball career than that. Right, yeah, he was up there um, with Babe Ruth, I would say, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely the number one switch hitter of all time. You know, teams hated him because he would hit home runs, you know, on both sides. I think he came within a foot of being the only person to ever knock it out of Yankee Stadium. Right. Might I take a look at it? Yeah, sure. Oof. Back's a little rough. Yeah, it's got some adhesive residue. The guy that had it probably had it in a scrapbook. It sounds like something people would do in the 50s. Yeah. <laughs> what are you looking to do with it? I ain't to sell it. OK, um, any idea of what you want to get out of it? Yeah, I need uh, 20K. OK. I've got some serious condition issues with it. And um, one of my problems with Mickey Mantle is he had a pretty long career after baseball. Right. And he made more money signing autographs than right. he ever did playing baseball. Yeah, uh, he signed a lot, but didn't sign many of those rookie cards, that's for no, sure. No, there wasn't very many of those rookie cards out there for him to sign. I will give you that. Um, let me give my buddy Dan a call. This is what he does. He creates these things for a living. Yeah, go for it. Hang out. I'll be right back. OK, I'll wait. 1951 Bowman signed Mickey Mantle rookie card. That's nice. Very nice. Back in the 50s, right. 60s, people didn't look at cards for value. They pretty much bought the packs of cards for the gum. I would do the same thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Mantle is the key guy you want on a rookie card. A lot of these have surfaced in recent years because collecting autographs on rookie cards has become real popular. Do you know how many of these signed rookie cards there are, actually? They're not easy cards to come by. So they, they are in demand, but people look for those rookie cards to be in real nice shape. Do you have a loop where I could look at this under? Yes, I do. Perfect. Whoa. Yeah, that that's pretty hammered. One thing that concerns me is that it looks like the top of the card's been cut, where it might have had a bunch of fray that they wanted to remove just to make it look better. The back definitely has some rough residue. As far as the grade's concerned, the PSA is going to grade it from a scale of 1 to 10. So 1 being poor, 10 being gem mint. And then unfortunately, with an altered back, they would never assign a numerical grade to the card. So you're looking at below a 1, which would be below poor. What's something like this worth? Everything's based on condition. Right. Um, there are signed rookie Mickey Mail cards from this year that have gone for forty to 60000 you know, but they are clean. Corners are sharp. The service is beautiful. But like I said, rookie cards are in high demand. Signed rookie cards. You know, as far as this card's concerned, the autograph's really nice. So, Corey, in my opinion, I think this is worth retail about 10 grand. Wow. I was thinking less than that. I was thinking more than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's condition is everything, man. Dan, I appreciate it. You're welcome. OK, Thank thanks you. a lot. Great, nice, nice to meet you. Likewise. I know you had hopes and dreams of 20,000, but I'm looking around seven. Wow, seven. That's kind of way off between 20. Uh, you know what? I can go down to 17. I'm not going over at seven, man. Seven's going to be the most I can pay for it. I have to trust Dan. You know, he's been in this business a long time. This yeah. is what he does. If he tells me 10, if I buy it from you at seven, possibly I make three grand. Right. We do 15? Seven. You're not going to bump up no, not no. even a nickel. Huh? I, won't, I won't at all. I, I think I'm going to have to walk, man. I, I'm always here. Bring it back all if, right. you know, if you decide to. OK, Take care. thanks. Yeah, I was pretty bummed out that we couldn't make a deal. It looks like um, back to home plate to see if I can get another decent hit somewhere else.